Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, we are going to discuss the structure of maize grain. Maize is Zia maize. It is a single seeded fruit that is Caryopsis, where the fruit wall. That is pericarp and testa. Testa is seed cover or seed coat are inseparably fused. Grains are produced. on a large and swollen peduncle that is cob. Now the external structure of maize grain. This is a single maize grain. We can observe the color surface and a structure of maize grain. The color of maize grain is whitish yellow. The surface is smooth and shining while the structure is conical type and flattened. Now this is the broader end of maize grain and this is the pointed end of maize grain. We can observe the seed coat externally then this is papilla. Papilla is located near to the upper flat surface and it represents the remains of a style. Now next structure is a depressed area. This is a depressed area and it appears whitish. In between the depressed area there is a linear central ridge. This is a linear central ridge. It indicates the position of underlying embryonic axis. Now, maize grain is attached to cob by this pointed end. This is the pointed end by which the maize grain is attached to cob. So, this is about the external structure of maize grain. Now we'll discuss the internal structure of maize grain. If we take the section of internal structure, then the outermost covering 
is seed coat plus fruit wall here the seed coat is testa while the fruit wall is pericar so this is representing the testa plus pericar it is thin but hard covering now the next region is aileron layer this aileron layer is immediately below the grain covering it is 1 to 3 celled thick and cell wall is also thick the cells are having thick cell walls then the cytoplasm the cytoplasm of cells of aileron layer is dense and filled with aileron or protein grains that produces enzymes during the process of germination now next is endosperm endosperm appears whitish or yellowish in color the cell wall is thin and the cytoplasm cytoplasm is disintegrated and rich in starch grains fats and proteins are also present so this is about endosperm next is the epithelial layer this is the epithelial layer this epithelial layer is outermost layer of scutellum scutellum is the single cotyledon of maize grain at the boundary of endosperm and embryo it performs some functions these functions are secretory and absorptive the secretory functions include the epithelial layer secretes hormones these hormones are involved in synthesis of some enzymes and these enzymes result in 
solubilization of food then the absorptive function is that the solubilized food is absorbed by epithelial layer and then transferred to the embryonic axis so this is the function of epithelial layer next structure is scutellum now scutellum is the single cotyledon of maize grain and it occupies the major portion of embryo region of grain we can observe that the major portion is occupied by scutellum then there is coleoptile this coleoptile is conical protective sheath then plumule this is the future shoot then radical radical is the future root it also possesses two protective sheaths so it possesses two protective sheaths first one is coleoriza and another one is root cap so immediately below is root cap and then below the root cap is coleoriza and the part of embryo axis between plumule and radical is cotyledonary node so all the structures starting from coleoptile plumule radical coleoriza are collectively forming embryo axis so this is the structure internal structure of maize grain Thanks for watching this video.